All right, so ladies and gents, we're about to begin the amateur card. Please welcome your first fighter into the blue corner, representing Scottish Heat Squad. Please welcome Callum McKinney. Another out in here for the Scottish Hit Squad. Callum McKinney making his way to the cage here. He'll take on Dan Cranston in this featherweight bout up next. Out of Rise and Conquer 12. This is a bit more like the walkout musical we're hoping for. I don't know, I like the orchestral ones. <laughs> Yeah, just getting the Vaseline applied to his face before entering the cage. All right, ladies and gents, could you please welcome his opponent into the red corner, representing MTK. Please welcome Dan Cranston. Big pop here for Dan Cranston as he makes his amateur debut. Here at Rise and Conquer, the MCK man about to make his way to the cage. He'd be forgiven for thinking Dan's had loads of fights. Look how calm he is just making this walk, taking it all in in this debut. Corner oh, team here sorting him out. Sam Bird now the lead coach at MTK. Harry Purvis and Kira Gorman in the corner there as well. As a coach then, how do you know when a fighter is ready for this amateur debut? It's a very hard thing to know because obviously there's nothing like fighting. Like someone could be amazing in the gym and then it could just not add up on fight night. Like obviously there's interclubs and there's things like that to bridge the gap. But I think I speak for all coaches when you never really actually know deep down. Like you can see their skills and you can see where they are in the gym. But until they step in the cage, until they fight, until they start trading leather, trading leather, sorry. You never actually know. All right, so ladies and gents, this is an amateur featherweight bout. First of all, introducing your fighters in the blue corner, age 24. He stands at five foot six inches tall. He has a record of no wins and one loss. From Glasgow, representing Scottish Hit Squad. He weighed in at 66.8 kilograms. Please put your hands together for Callum McKinney. Facing him across the cage in the red corner, it's his opponent. He's 22 years of age. He stands at five foot seven inches tall. He has a record of one win and no losses. From Newcastle, representing MTK. He weighed in at 66.2 kilograms. Please welcome Dan Cranston. We're scheduled for three three minute rounds. Your referee, Phil De Vries. The action is about to begin. Here we go, this featherweight bout about to get underway. KSW world champion Phil De Vries, the man in the middle for this one. Touch of gloves and here we go. Both guys in the centre right away. Early feints from both men. Yeah, Crompton doing a good job with that hip feint. He's using that hip feint to steal ground, push McKinney back. Feel like a, McKinney with a big right hand. McKinney feeling his back, getting closer to the fence, just lashing out with big right hands and big low kicks, but they've both landed. How important is it to really utilise feints? It's super important, and it's becoming more and more important as MMA develops. And because, like, if you go back to I don't know, when I was fighting amateurs, no one threw fakes, no one. Whereas now, it's, the, the game's developing, it's evolving, and people need to be throwing them now. Like, striking is just so much more advanced than it was. Beautiful left hook, right, um, right low kick from McKinney. 
And it forces a stance switch out of Crompton. Cranston, sorry. Well, I'm liking from McKinney as well. It's punches and punches, if you like. He's not just throwing singular strikes. Like that, the big overhand followed up by that left hook. And he's managed to completely reverse the position of this fight. Nice spinning sidekick there from Dan Cranston. And such good, appropriate use of the spinning sidekick. Just as McKinney circled outside his lead shoulder, he turned and landed it. McKinney just with these big bombs is like, I would say everything that Cranston's doing is almost like very technical, he's faking, he's keeping his position right and he's, he's moving well. But McKinney's just throwing bombs at him and a lot of them are landing. Like sometimes fighting is just simple. I had my big spiel about fakes and about how advanced it's getting, but sometimes it can just be as simple as realizing someone's in range and just swinging at them. So difficult then to try and counter that as well when there's someone just relentlessly swinging bombs at you. Yeah, you don't have the thinking time to do it. But Kranz is doing a good job of just slowing the fight down, getting his underhooks, getting his head position. And just as I say that, McKinney gets it, pummels in a really deep underhook, swims it round, and gets his own offensive position on the fence, and he's starting to try and work through with this double leg. After such a fast paced start, I, I guess it's quite important to try and slow down the pace of the fight, especially if it's a debut, just to start, collect your thoughts, know where you're at. McKinney did a beautiful job of like he got the double leg just gripped under the butt and just got a little bit of elevation and used that foot sweep and now as Cranston did the right thing he built back up but he presents his back ever so slightly as he does that McKinney's dived on it and he just got a little bit too eager there and lost the position Cranston again with this pressure up again nice head pressure there as well heavy head pressure pushing the face of McKinney up so he can't see where the strikes are coming from looking for a trick and he just about got it, but McKinney just did this good job of not, not letting his butt hit the floor and building back up along the fence. Nice knee there from Dan Cranston. Ten seconds to go here in this opening round. Exchanging kicks, and now Cranston looking to pounce on this. Cranston getting some big shots off, and the round is over. That was a very competitive round. Very, very competitive round. As cliche as it sounds, almost a round of two halves there as well, with McKinney starting very much the stronger of the two, but Dan certainly leaving that last mark in the judge's mind. McKinney seemed to be wincing and looks... He's holding his arm and wincing. And he... This doesn't look good. It looks like he's injured himself. And it's, and it's all over. over. It's waved off. It's all over. Dan Cranston get. The first win of his amateur career there as McKinney retires in the corner. Hopefully. Seems to be in a lot of pain there with his arm. The medic straight in here to have a look. He's holding his elbow and his bicep. It's, it's, too, it's difficult to see what's happened. Branson just enjoying his moment. That was just warming up to be a really interesting fight there as well. It is unfortunate that that's happened, but... It's MMA, sometimes these things happen. McKinney here, yeah, visibly in a lot of pain. I wonder if his elbow or shoulder's popped out possibly, but we have the best medical team on site here to treat this. Pointing to the bicep there, I wonder if it could even be like a muscle tear or something. If that is the case, that would be painful. Certainly would. I do not. Glad I'm not in his shoes at the minute. He looks in a lot of pain. I hope he's okay. I think he might be in a little bit of shock at the minute. And as the adrenaline wears off that pain, we won't, certainly won't subside. Eh? Cranston being very respectful of him in this corner, just stepped away, letting the medical team do their work. I wonder where that's happened as well. I know they were swinging some big shots. I wonder if it's maybe even an overextension or... Yeah, or... <laughs> Maybe where he was trying to pummel underhooks in. Is he getting back to his feet? He out to his feet, but still. Well, ladies and gents, please put your hands together for both of our warriors inside the cage. 
Kinney, of course, heading straight out here. So you can get... Due to our fighter in the blue corner being unable to continue, we have your winner by way of TKO in the red corner, Dan Cranston. Also, please put your hands together for Callum McKinney. Speedy recovery, please.